Hello and welcome back to Gas Beautio Tabletop Football where we're carrying on with this build of a stepped terrace and seated terrace. Uh, stepped terrace. Terrace is stepped, isn't it? All right, we're carrying on with a seated terrace. And if you remember last time, uh, I told you about these, this terrace sort of seated area that we were building up. Uh, I built one and that's actually upside down. Looks a bit neat at that side. So that's all measured and glued in. And I was uh, telling you to get on with it because we need two of these. Right, so we've got two of these now. Uh, what you can do once you've built these is just put them together um, upside down facing each other and see how you've got on, how neat they are. Now you're always going to have some disparity because you're working with MDF and a bit of glue. Uh, but as long as they're roughly the same, you can work with it. Anyway. These is not are not what we were meant to be talking about, but you should have them done now if you are following along. What we're talking about today is triangles. So these this is what's going to be the support really for holding up the step terrace. And this is the first stage of it. Now what you're going to need here is three of these. Uh, these ones I'll tell you now are seven centimeters across one end. They're the width of the MDF and one um, centimetre high, and you'll need three of them. Now, let me get a sheet of MDF. So this is a standard A4 sheet of MDF. Keep things simple for yourself. So that's what I've done here. I've just done it the width for the MDF, and then I measured one very carefully, seven centimetres high, one centimetre high. Drew that out, cut it, so that cut off, and then to keep them all the same, what I did then, imagine that, that one was cut off there. I got that one, flipped it over and put it on the new edge of the board, cut down there. I did the same for a third one like that and cut down there. And then at the end of it, what I always recommend, measure as you go, put them together like so. Uh, and just check that they're, you know, roughly, roughly the same. And you will need three of them, seven centimetres high, one centimetre high, width of the A4 MDF board. Now you also need four of these triangles. These are slightly different. They look the same, but they are slightly different. These are also the width of the MDF, as you can see, but they go from zero height up to six centimetres. And you do the same thing, so measure one, when it cuts off, flip it over, put it on the line, score across with a nice sharp blade so you get it nice and close and keep doing that so you've got four of them. And then again, similar process. So when you've done them, you put them together like that, make sure they're all roughly the same. Now, why do you need four of them and three of these? It's very simple. These are the edges, okay? So basically what we're gonna do is we're going to glue these on and then that gives a sort of ridge which our terrace seat in or our terrace seat in steps these bits can sit on so sort of like that so what we'll be doing there is another step to this so but we'll get to that in a minute is we'll be gluing one on one side uh, on the right one on the other side on the left of the outer with a smaller one on the inner. And then one in the middle, because we've got two terrace bits, we'll have one on either side like that. Got that? Right. Now the eagle eyed amongst you may have noticed that this triangle here, and I'll bring it up, has a line drawn on it. Now, that's very important that line because that is three centimetres from the back edge of the small triangle inwards, okay? So put in your larger triangles, let's call them the outer supports, putting them away, we keep them as they are, the width of the MDF board. And we got these ones, we're gonna cut them off at the three centre mark. And I'm gonna show you exactly why we're doing that. So let me get my metal rule. Get nice and straight. Excuse if my head goes in the way there. Do a light cut on it first. 
check that it's on the line that we want. Cut it through. Lots of light cuts. Give you a nice straight edge. And then when you get to a point, you probably notice by doing this, it just sort of cuts out there. Right. So now that triangle is now three centimetres shorter. This is why. With that three centimetre shortness, which is the depth of our steps, our terrace steps, if we glue that on there, right, then I don't know if you can see that, but three centimetres at the bottom, which is effectively going to be touching the floor, now fits on the bottom of that outer support. You see that? And the rest of it will rest on there. And it gives us a nice little neat edge to sit in. So effectively, I know I've got it upside down now, but you know if that was flipped over the other way, that bottom step sits at the front. And then it neatly goes in there. And it will look like that. It will look like that on the top, and like that on the bottom. It's obviously not glued at the minute. But I will do that next time. So once you've cut them, remember, glue one so it's on the inside. One for the other edge of the terrace will be on the inside on the left. <laughs> one on the inside on the right. And then you'll have a centre piece that's going between the two terraces that will have one of these smaller supports glued on both sides. All right? All right. Have we all got that? Yeah? Brill. Right, so that's what I'm going to do for next time. I'm uh, going to glue all that together. I won't glue it to these yet because I'll probably do that. Mm, I think there's a few other little bits of support we need to do yet. So we'll do that. Uh, yeah, ju let's just glue these together and then we'll see where we're at with that. All right. Uh, anyway, you crack on with that. I'll crack on with this. And until next time, up the gas.